Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome once again to a session on engineering graphics. As you might observe, uh, I am standing today because I have a few students with me. Uh, Hardik, he is Hardik, he is Hardik, he is Janav, and she is Umangi. And we are going to have a demonstration today of uh, projection of points and projections of lines. I have with me uh, different instruments that I have brought. And, uh, this is a point that we are going to use today in our first session. Thereafter, we are going to use a dandia to illustrate how uh, a projection of line works out. Okay, so let's move on. Let's first see what are the different uh, perspectives we have in store today with us. We are going to know. We are going to learn what is projections the easier way. We will first study the definition. Thereafter, we will see that how we can uh, know what is the projection of a particular object in a very easy manner using a torch, a normal torch that you guys use. Then we are going to study the uh, different principal planes that we are there. There are three different principal planes, we will study that in detail. Thereafter, we are going to study pro projection of point and various examples that are uh, related to it. So, let us start. Okay, now what is a projection? First, I will read you the complicated definition that is usually given in the uh, books. So, if a straight line, if the straight lines are drawn from various points on the contour of an object to meet the plane, the object is said to be projected on the plane. The figure formed by joining uh, in correct sequence the points at which lines meet the plane is called the projection of an object. I guess very complicated? Oh no, it is very simple. Let us see. Now, let just in one line how we can describe a projection. We can visualize projection as a shadow of any object on any plane. That object, uh, the shadow of that object is the basic projection that it forms on any plane. I will just show you torch. Okay, let us see. So, this is I am using a ball. I am using this ball and as you can see there is a shadow that is being formed here. This is the shadow which is being formed. This is the shadow which is being formed on this. So, I can say that this ball is making a projection of this particular circle, this particular circle which is there. this circle, this is the projection of the ball which I am holding in my hand right now on a particular plane. So, uh, that complicated definition turns out and as I as I am moving this torch, you can see that the uh, outline of the ball is being traced. And if we look at what we are actually projecting, then you can see that this is the torch that I am using and this is the ball which is being getting projected. So, we will see the torch and the ball. this is the torch that I am using I'm, and I am uh, throwing the light on this ball for which the projection has to be done and this is the shadow of the ball that is being done. So, this is the projection of this ball on this particular plane. So, projection is as simple as this. I hope you all understood. Let us move on. Okay. So, now there are different types of projections, but we are only, only going to uh, study orthographic projection, but for our understanding we should know that what are the different kinds of projections that are available for us. The first is the orthographic projection, the next is oblique projection, third is perspective projection and fourth is the isometric projection. So, let us now study about orthographic projection as that is what we are con going to concentrate on today. Okay. So, for an orthographic projection as you saw I was using I was holding the torch right above the ball and that torch was exactly perpendicular to the uh, plane that was there that is for the orthographic projection that the observer should be exactly perpendicular to the plane on which the projection has to be seen or we can say the observer has should always be observing perpendicular exactly perpendicular see if I am the observer and I have to observe this pen then this is 
I am observing it from the front. So, this is what this is an orthographic projection. So, on your camera where, where you can see this white dot, this is the projection that you are seeing of this particular object that is the way that I see this object in a particular manner. Okay. So, now for projection we need different planes. So, there are three different planes that we are going to study principal planes, auxiliary planes, axiometric planes and the prince we are going to concentrate on principal planes first and pr principal planes are divided into three different parts which is horizontal plane, vertical plane and profile plane. So, now Hardik will show you a demonstration of how these planes are related with each other. One plane is horizontal plane which is parallel to the wall, another plane is vertical plane which is perpendicular to the horizontal plane and which is parallel to the wall and the third plane is profile plane which is perpendicular to the both horizontal plane and perpendicular. Okay, so here as you can see as Harvey explained, uh, we have this, uh, this is the horizontal plane we can compare the slide which is coming here. See, it is written as uh, VP, VP, PP, and HP. That is vertical plane, uh, uh, profile plane, and horizontal plane. So first, we will see that horizontal plane. As Hardik explained, this is the horizontal plane. This, this is the horizontal plane. As you can see, I'll show it in an isometric view, sir, so that each all the uh, these are visible. This is horizontal plane, which is actually parallel to the ground. This is uh, this is the vertical plane. As you can see, VP it is written. So this is the vertical plane, which is actually parallel to the wall, and this is the pr uh, profile plane. Now, these three names have a, a specific purpose to solve. Now, why this is known as horizontal plane, why this is known as uh, profile plane and why this is known as vertical plane. Now, this HP is known as horizontal plane, why? Visualize a map, when you are looking at a map, you see it from the top. So, what happens, you are able to make out distances between two different points. So, it shows you the horizontal length of between two things. So, on HP, if I see it from the top, if I mark one point here and one point here, then I will be able to measure the horizontal distance uh, that I see from the top. That is why this is known as a horizontal plane. Now, for the vertical plane, we can visualize a building. When you are standing in front of a building, you are seeing it from the front. So, the front view shows you what shows you what at what height the building is. So, if I use this pen, if I am showing it this way, then it is uh, then we can see the elevation of this pen. So, this is what will be projected on a vertical plane and profile plane why it is named as profile plane now profile plane can show you both the distance as well as what as well as the height that's why it is known as the profile plane let's keep it down so this shows you hp vp and pp the, this view already i explained you why it is uh, on uh, vp always the front view is there on hp the top view uh, or the uh, or the plan and side view is there on uh, profile plane uh, that is there as I showed you. Now, Jenna will come and explain the different quadrants to you. There are four different kinds of quadrant: first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Point may be lie in space. That means that any of the quadrant. If the point may lies above HP and in front of PP, that means that point lies on first quadrant. If point lies on above HP and behind VP, that means that point lies on second quadrant. If point lies behind below HP and behind VP, that means that point lies in third quadrant. If point lies below HP, in front of VP, that means that point lies on fourth quadrant. So, very well explained. So, these are the fourth four quadrants, and in four all the four quadrants, as you can see, that if I say this is the first, uh, this is your first quadrant, this is your second quadrant, this is your third quadrant, and this is your fourth quadrant. So, we can easily mark out the position for the uh, if the object is in first, second, third, or fourth quadrant, which is. Uh, they are shown by this line. This is basically the y, this this line is basically the y axis and this line is basically the x axis uh, as shown in the uh, by the thermocol piece that we have we are using. 
okay as you can see this is being illustrated by an uh, isometric view also on uh, this and you can see that for the first quadrant you can see that in the first quadrant vp the front view is there on vp and uh, top view is there on hp which is illustrated in the figure as fv as the front view and tv as the top view okay let's move these are the different case uh, that are there that Jainab already explained to you that uh, in the first quadrant HP uh, the object is above HP and uh, above HP and in front of VP and in second quadrant we have uh, the, the object being above HP and behind VP and similarly in the third quadrant it will be below HP and behind VP and in fourth quadrant it will be below HP and in front of VP. Let us move on to the next ok. Now, for ba as you observed in all this there are three basic things that we need to draw the projection of any object first of all we need the object itself if the object is not there then we would not be able to uh, mark the projection because there would not be any projection now second is the observer now in the case that we showed you the observer is the torch which is there so the observer has to be present to see the projection of any object and third is the location of object with respect to HP and VP as Jenov explained that in first quadrant we have uh, the object which is there in front of VP and at an a height from HP. So, you need particular distance from in front of VP and a particular H that is height from HP to locate the point in the coordinate. As you know, okay, you know uh, we, you need, uh, we need an Y coordinate and we need a X coordinate. So, Y coordinate is the height that is there on VP and X coordinate is the length uh, the distance from the line XY on uh, x axis so which is a distance in front of vp okay so now let's move ahead now we shall move to basic projection of points that we are going to project different uh, we are going to use different examples and we are going to project them uh, on the uh, these sheets on these planes that we have and we are going to show you that how projection actually works okay so uh, let's move so this is the first case that we are going to study this is the first case that we are going to study so there are uh, first we will see that how it is there, how it is there in the first quadrant uh, first we will see the slide wh uh, wh where it is shown now as you can see in the slide uh, this point is in front of vp and at a an height from hp Okay, so let us see in the quadrant system that how the point will be there in reality. This good. Uh, okay, so suppose the point in first quadrant. That means that point lies above HP in front of VP. We can light through the point so that the shadow of point so that the shadow of point that means that if I am seeing front view so that on VP the shadow of point may be lies. The top view of point if I am seeing from top then the top view of point that means that shadow of point lies on the HP. We can mark this both top view and front view. Okay, so uh, we will draw it on paper and we will actually see that how this uh, uh, come this side. Jana. Okay, so first we will see on the top view that how this object is being formed. So, I will mark the distances using my marker on the sheet so that it is visible to you will bring it a little bit here ok. So, as you can see that this is my horizontal plane this is visible this HP is there. So, this is my what this is my HP this is my horizontal plane. Now, this ball is casting a shadow here. So, I will mark this something of this sort and this is on HP. So, this is the line x y and it is this much in front that is d distance in front of this I will mark it this way also so that it is visible to you. So, this is at a distance d from y 
and this is there on what uh, HP so this is what this is my I'll, uh, top view understood now what I will do is now the uh, Jana will hold the toss uh, from the front okay now is holding the torch from the front and this is what this is vp okay so now i'll mark the uh, keep it this way now i'll mark what now i'll mark the uh, radius of this no oh, sorry i'll mark the point on vp as this okay and it is at a this is uh, vp so it is from this xy if we zoom out a little bit it is this is xy again uh, this line is xy so it is uh, you can remove the ball so it is at a height particular height so this is at a height h which is there and what is this this is on vp so this is what this is the front view so now how is it actually visible on paper now we will see that if you look at the front camera this is my front first quadrant that we are looking at okay so now what i'm going to do is i am going to ro rotate always rotate this plane clockwise how am i going to do this is this is how i am going to do i rotated it clockwise so this is how uh, it is going to be or i'll show it on this this is how it is going to be present on your paper that you, uh, we turn the plane right, uh, on clockwise so that we can draw this particular sheet so this is the figure that you will get uh, actually on your paper so this is this point uh, the projection of this point the the ball that we used is at a height h and uh, distance d so this is the hp and this is the vp so in first quadrant what we have is the point is uh, the front view or say the vp uh, the front view on vp is always above line xy this black tape cello tape that you can see is line xy so th is it is always above this uh, the front view is always above xy and uh, that is a, at height h and it is always below uh, the uh, sorry the top view is always below uh, the xy line at a distance d from line xy so this is what will be shown uh, in the animation that is there the on on this uh, uh, screen so uh, this is at a distance d so the uh, back marker is there now at a height h so now this is there so now i rotated as you can see i rotated